Richmond High is the largest school in the district and one of the toughest. It has 1,600 students and a low graduation rate. With a dropout rate of nearly 50%, one student was able to rise above it all. Her name, Guadalupe Morales. At 17 years old and with a 4.2 GPA, she can't wait to start Brown University in the fall. Immediately in my head, I just have this picture of me like walking through the campus, you know, I'm like, wow, that's really gonna happen. Mary Caudry has taught at Richmond High School for the last 13 years. In all that time, she's never met a student quite like Guadalupe Morales. She's very intelligent, but really it's her work ethic. It's her commitment and her belief in herself that she can do it. She's a teacher's dream. Always work hard, always show your hardest. Push yourself, motivate yourself, you know, regardless of what anyone else says. How's your week this week? Good? Mm -hmm, good. Jean-Pierre de Oliveira is Guadalupe's counselor. He says Guadalupe faces the same difficulties of most teens at Richmond High. She has faced many challenges, like many of my students, but I think what sets her apart from a lot of the other students is the involvement of her parents in her life. Guadalupe lives with her mother in this San Pablo trailer camp and is very close with her father, Luis Arturo Morales. Guadalupe's parents immigrated from Mexico 22 years ago. He always took an interest in her academics by touring several of the surrounding schools. Stanford, uh, Santa Clara, all this type of things. But I always told him, I said, "Claro." Well, in the morning, I was very tired, but at all times, we were going to an open school, to talk with the teachers, what was going on in the school. Saying goodbye to their only daughter will be hard for her parents, especially for her mother. Entonces, para mí es, es difícil. ¿Por qué es difícil? Porque sé que no va a estar cerca. Pero yo quiero que ella haga lo que, lo que ella quiere ser. Guadalupe received a full scholarship from Brown, a university that only admits about 5% of its applicants. I'm going to school where everyone's, you know, like at my level or above, so it's definitely going to be more academically, you know, stressful. The challenge of being, you know, in a different environment, that's just going to be the hardest and be able to, you know, really overcome that. It's a stress she's ready to handle. Regardless of, you know, your economic situation, regardless of what your family looks like, always push yourself to try your hardest and you'll accomplish your dreams. This is Cristina Lopez reporting for CNS News.